Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we're taking a look today at the newest of the deluxe vintage collection feeders. It is Django Fett. Uh, long awaited update to the character. Um, it's been 12 years since his last appearance in three and three quarter inch form, at least if you're excluding the 5 POA. There was a 5 POA version that came out at some point 2014, so that's still 10 years ago. Um, but in terms of fully articulated vintage collection style, um, yeah, it's been since about 2011 or 12. Um, so it's been a while. It's been a while. We're going to do a little bit of a comparison of the two, but we'll quickly take a look at the packaging. I do believe this one could have gone on a vintage card. Um, but at the same time, I do believe they're also leaving this open for an alternate version in the near future. Obviously, he comes with his jetpack that he uses at the second half of the film, whereas the original VC figure came based on his appearance on Kamino with his duel with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, so again, we'll take a look. I reckon this one could see a bit of multiple use. We're getting, getting a lot of good use out of the Mandalorian sculpts at the moment. Again, just some images on the side. Another one on the side there showcasing the accessories on the back. Uh, yeah, just cool artwork on the box. Let's crack open the box and take a look at the figure. All right, folks, here is Django Fett as he appears in the packaging. All accessories are out. Um, six simple steps or five simple steps from my reviews. I'll go packaging, accessories, paint apps, articulation, peg test. And then in this case, there will be a comparison at the end after we get through those things. Um, so if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. I hope you stick around and uh, follow me for more reviews in the future. But yeah, let's let's get on to this one because it's a, it's a really, really nice figure on pretty thrilled with how Django Fett has turned out. Um, yeah, like I said, this is how he comes in the packaging. He's got his wonderful looking Tim Morrison inspired, well, <laughs> it's it's not inspired because it was, was him. Maybe the hair could be a, a slight little bit off the hairstyle, but it's fine. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, the fact that they've Going to the effort to do the scars on his face. I think it looks good. It looks really, really nice. Um, yeah. Accessory-wise, jetpack. So, like I said in the start of the review, this is uh this is the version he uses on Geonosis. Um, after his first one gets gets hit by Obi-Wan Kenobi on Kamino. We have these two flame effects which will peg into the base of the jetpack. We've seen this a few times with a few deluxe releases. These flame effects have come in handy for a few figures. It's cool. We have this flame effect here, which will peg into, you can just sort of see that on his wrist gauntlet there, that will peg in. I like it because it's not super, it's there, but it's, it's inconspicuous. In the past we've had some Django Fets that have had, you know, I think of the first one I got, which was the one with the magnetic head. And uh, yeah, that had a big like rocket launching thing for a flame to spring in and shoot out. Um, if you're posing this like this for a long time, you may see that sort of warp and bend a little bit. That tends to happen. It's just the way it is. It's, it's plastic. Good for short term poses. If you're taking some photographs or something, or if you've got a little bit of extra support, you know, Hitting a clone trooper or something, you could sort of just rest it on the clone. That might take a little bit of the bit of the weight out of this end. That said, it's it's pretty strong, pretty sturdy. It pegs in nicely. Um, so that's that's a cool accessory. Do have his two blasters right here. A pretty simple design, really. They've really had no reason to change these over the years. Um, and they will sort of just. They don't fit into his holsters like they used to. They just sort of slot them in there. Um, whereas in the past, they have sort of slotted in a little bit further than that. But it's fine. You know, I'm probably going to have him wielding the blasters for the most part. But, you know, on the off chance, you're going to display him like so. It's not a bad look. Let's just say that. It's not terrible. It's fine. And then, of course, we have the helmet, which is a swap-out feature. Really nice paint on this. The only thing missing, if I just use this, is 
Django has a helmet. He usually has a couple of little triangles just on the front there. And if I just quickly bring in the previous version, you can see those little triangles there on the brow or just above the brow. Um, fortunately, it's just a small little missed detail. And yeah, mine's just got a little bit of missing blue paint, but I'm pretty confident I can color match that and just, just dab a little bit extra paint on there. But in the, the day, it's got that sort of reflective. I don't see it too much. Um, so yeah, it's it's just one of those little factory defects. But there is the uh, mobile rangefinder there, which is nice. And um, yeah, I love love that Hasbro are doing swap out helmets. It's definitely preferable to to the you know the sort of rubbery helmet. But you yeah, will pop this helmet on Django and take a look because it looks really nice. It's a good fit. Sits on well. We'll pop the get rid of those flames. So we'll pop the jetpack on the back. But yeah, paint apps definitely nice. I love what they've done with that sort of. It's not a super shiny silver for the for the Beskar armor, but it's it's definitely shinier than the sort of matte, almost matte grays we've had. There is a nice sort of sheen to it. You can sort of see some reflections from my ring light. Um, and that's sort of all over the figure where it needs it. It looks really good. So definitely appreciate the the quality of the paint apps on this figure. It's, you know, despite that one tiny little flaw on the cheek, um, I'm I'm pretty damn happy. Jetpack's painted nicely. You know, even silver on the back there looks good. And I recently re reviewed the um, the Mandalorian Fleet Commander, so this one's using the same torso as that because I talked about the uh, the sort of separate parts to the torso of this figure. Um, so if you go back and check out my review on the Mandalorian Fleet Commander, I sort of talked about that, and um, you know uses the same same piece for the jetpack. Might be a sort of little bit different. I can't remember. It was it was like three old days ago. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see the separation at the shoulders there. So this is a separate part. Um, so they're able to interchange, you know, bits and pieces from different tooled figures to sort of combine and, and create different looking Mandalorians, which, you know, ideally is what we want. Um, but yeah, really nice clean. Even getting the little bronze bit there on the, uh, on the, on the gauntlet there. That's nice. Sort of the black of the hose, hoses up and down the sleeves. Looks nice. No real weathering on the bodysuit or anything, but that's fine. It's he's got a pretty crisp and clean outfit as it is in Attack of the Clones. Yeah, he's looking good. So articulation-wise, he has that sort of double barbell in the in the head and the neck. Ball hinges in the shoulders. And you can sort of that's sort of a softer part, so you're not limited. With the articulation there is good. Um, ball hinge in the elbows, so you get a little bit more than a 90 degree there, which is nice. You get a ball hinge in the wrist, both are up and down. You got a ball joint there in the lower torso. Ball and sockets in the hips, swivel at the thighs. Ball hinge in the knees, hinge in the ankles, and then a rocker at the foot. So you get all the articulation you need. It's a nice modern looking action figure in terms of play posability and playability now let's do the peg test um this is this is the real the real thing especially when they've you know when they've got the rockers they don't always get the nice the depth of the peg peg hole in the bottom of the foot but uh in this case it's looking pretty good so i've got one foot on Two feet on. Yeah, sort of no no real big large gap there between the the peg and the stand, or the, or the foot in the stand, so he's not gonna fall off. So if you want to use a stand, especially if you've got these these old classics from like 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago nearly. Um yeah, they're they're gonna be universally pretty sound on this figure, so I think that's definitely a win for this figure. Now I did say I would compare 
to the previous VC release. I'm blanking on the, the number of the VC. But yeah, here he is. So again, like I said, he was more based on his attack on with or his fight with Obi Wan Kenobi on Kamino. So he's got this the jetpack with the uh, with the firing rocket. Obviously, it's not firing, but it's got a little bit of fire in it. So that was pretty cool. And he had the um, the sort of the Batman sort of claws that sort of stick out. And again, sort of talking about the the holsters on this one. Some may argue a little bit better, but you know what? If I go side to side, they're not really in any better, are they? You know, it's not not a great deal of difference there as as to how far they go in. Maybe you could push that in a little bit further, but I don't know. It's not it's not super different. What I do like on the new one is the fact that the uh, the strap around the thigh there as well it's sort of its own separate piece where this one was just sort of it was a loose belt and yeah looking back the look of the helmet isn't that great and even the head sculpt good for the time let me say but i don't know apples and oranges there guys it's uh it's pretty good Yeah, the uh, the nose definitely poked out the shape of the helmet a little bit on the uh, on the OG, but still not a bad Django. There were there's some far worse ones out there. And boy, do I have a couple of them. So yeah, just wanted to just do a little bit of a comparison here at the end. But yeah, I dare say this one. You know, you utilize something like this jetpack, bit of a repaint. We'll be seeing this version updated at some point in the near future. I, I'd, I'd put money on it. Hopefully on a single card, but that would be cool either way. Something a little bit different. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate your time. I hope you've enjoyed checking out my new review. Again, if you like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate everyone's support. Um, and see you again for some more reviews very soon. Until then... May the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.